What's up YouTube? This is Victor on the Let Me Explain show and today we're going to optimize our site for mobile. In other words, uh, we want to make sure that the site looks good when people are accessing it on mobile phones or tablets. So how you do that um, is if you're in the Wix background already, you will notice this icon that says um, edit your site for desktop or edit your site for mobile. So click on the mobile preview simply by clicking this icon. And this is what we get. So, so far, this site looks like it's it's okay. But just see what happens when, when I hit the optimizer button. So how you get to the optimizer is you if you come down here, you'll see page layout optimizer. So if you click on that and then hit optimize, see the changes that happen to the site. It just aligns the site much better. So on this part, what I would like to do is also hide these container boxes. So I click on it and then I hit this hide element and then I just get the text. It looks much cleaner and it will load better on, on mobile. So I'll do the same for that and finally for that. So that's basically how you do it. And if you want to get your container boxes back, all you have to do is come over here and once you hover over it, it will show you which container box you're targeting. So let's scroll down and hover over it. So it will go to the container. So this is the community container box. And if you want to show it again, you just click the show element button, the plus sign in a circle. All right. So what we're going to do is um, go back to. So so the beauty of it is Wix will save this automatically for us. That's a really cool feature about it. Um, so we go back to de desks, desktop. <laughs> Sorry about that. And um, now we're good to go on mobile. I'm going to select another page just to show you, just to run through it again. So if we select education and um, let's get a view of the mobile site. If we click switch to mobile. So th there's an issue here. Our text totally um, um, clashes with the background. And in the mobile, in the website, the desktop site, I have this blue background here, this shape in the back. So I want this shape to also appear on my mobile site. So if I click mobile, then I go to sh hidden elements. I want to look for container or shape, sorry, I want to look for shape. So if I click over here, and then go to hidden elements, this part is not really showing me the shape. So what I'm going to do is go into my uh, page layout optimizer, hit optimize. And as you can see, my, my vector shape is down here. It should be over under the text. So what I'm going to do is drag it over like so. So this is a, the long way of doing it, but I just thought I'll show you in case you stumbled upon this and um, it can be an issue to work out if you're not sure what's going on. So right now I'm just fitting the shape right directly over the text. And then what I'm going to do is come over here, click on that, and then on this part, send to that. Then our text will appear um, right there. So that's done. I would like to expand that so our text is not too cramped. There we go. And I'm going to optimize it one more time just to make sure everything's aligned. Unfortunately, if I hit optimize, it's hiding my my element. So I want to go to see where my element went and make sure that it shows. So this is showing um, elements hidden on all pages. I don't want that. I just want the part where this box is showing. So the vector art, if we hide the element, it goes away. We want to show the element 
and we also want to make sure is behind the text I'm not sure why it did not save my previous action so if Wix uh, I will send this comment to Wix and just make sure they address that because I made changes to my mobile site and it did not save the changes so that's a worrying factor so I'll send it to that right S and then I'm going to publish it so just to make sure those changes are done I want to go back to the desktop version that's all good go back to the mobile version okay now our, ch our change has stayed on and last thing I'll do is I'll just pull down this so this there's something wrong over here so our education tab is actually lost on the mobile site so I'll click on it drag it to the top I want it to drag it all the way to the top just keep dragging it place it over here for now scroll up so we want this to come all the way here and then I'm gonna expand on that click on this bring it down go back to our education tab increase the size and then I'll center it okay so our site is looking good and um, it's saved already one last thing I'll do is click to optimize I know I optimized it before I'll just do that again it looks like it undid what I what what I set up so I'm going to undo that and publish that as is done so what you can also do is jump on your mobile device to see if those changes have been made before you um, let the client know what you've done if you're working for a client that is um, so basically that's how you change your how you optimize your site for mobile I hope you found this video useful if there are any questions you have about uh, working with Wix uh, websites please let me know and I'll be happy to do a video in regards to that all right have a great day this is Victor from the Let Me Explain Show